about uh, classification of uh, finite dimensional algebras. I hope after so many lectures, uh, you believe that uh, classification of algebras are important. Uh, 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 here, we will discuss how we can uh, classify uh, finite dimensional algebras. Uh, there are uh, two approaches. First one is called, uh, you can say, invariant approach, or structural approach. Uh, for example, uh, uh, classification of uh, finite dimensional uh, simple uh, associative algebra. Okay? Or, uh, for example, simple or semi-simple uh, Lie algebra. For example, or uh, some uh, algebras of Marx and this uh, uh, and uh, that method which is used for associate cannot be used for me. Why? Because this uh, invariant approach means uh, they will use in the properties of this algebra. And if they are of different classes, one method which is used cannot be used in other cases. But there is another approach, uh, it is non invariant or coordinate approach, or uh, structure constant message. We can say uh, there, there are some <coughs> Let me show uh, here some papers. Okay? For example, uh, first paper here, you can find classification of all uh, two-dimensional algebras. Uh, here, algebra means on the, the following. It is two dimensional vector space, and the uh, uh, product is given. No uh, in other requirement. It is in or some commutative, no such kind of thing. Uh, and here, uh, they consider the ego uh, in field, but uh, full classification you can find. And but the approach, of course, not uh, constructed. Uh, uh, structurally, they uh, do by uh, cancel basis and they start to something. Uh, and this one, uh, plus five quadratic bits from the it is written uh, quadratic in reality, uh, it means uh, the corresponding product. Here, and uh, so one, here you can find uh, three dimensional algebra. What are the product is uh, anti-commutative. Uh, general case, uh, so here uh, they are classifying, okay, in first all algebras, second dimensional, in uh, this one and the next one on the sum of them. Uh, here, uh, uh, last one, it is uh, about in a dimensional algebra. Uh, and here, general case is considered, so they are considering all algebra. Uh, here, approach, uh, you can say, uh, approach of uh, algebra geometry. Uh, here, uh, we will do similar approach. Uh, difference is the following. Uh, maybe some of our results are uh, so, but our approach is more uh, simple and constructive. Uh, so you can see this KP uh, and then compare this with ours. Okay, so uh, to, to explain the point, uh, we will consider more general case. In other words, we will consider uh, each of n group, okay? In a group, and uh, we will under uh, some assumption we put some results, okay? Uh, and uh, the corresponding classification we can uh, get from this one. So here, uh, this uh, representation of algebra. In, uh, some vector space. Here we uh, for field you can consider complex uh, numbers here. 
Yeah. Yeah. Over uh, the first one. Yeah. yeah. So. In particular, uh, here uh, corollary is written that all the rational functions, okay, you can uh, generate over this one by this system of components. In other words, if you consider a field containing this one and uh, P of X, it will be uh, the field of all the rational functions. Next one, natural question. Uh, when, whenever you have some field, uh, it is better to know the uh, uh, transcendence degree. Okay? In other words, it means theoretically uh, uh, minimum number of generators of this algebra. Theoretically, uh, sometimes you cannot find it, but theoretically it may be, uh, it represents the minimum number of generators. And uh, here, uh, the uh, uh, here, the corresponding theorem is given that uh, you can evaluate it in the following way. And it is a dimension of a vector space, and uh, you should deduct dimension of your uh, group. general linear group, you can get uh, the following. Uh, in this case, for dimension, you will have this number. Okay, this number. And uh, uh, here, in as a result, if you consider the extension of this field, it is a transcendent uh, extension. So, and uh, for transcendent basis of this field over this one, you can take a system of elements of here. Another thing, uh, in the paper of uh, Popov, in that case, in that algebra case, uh, the following is shown. This one is uh, also pure transcendent extension. This extension also. Uh, we are saying, uh, we are showing only the one that uh, f of x is uh, pure transcendent extension of this one. So uh, they are complementary to each other. But uh, we couldn't get, uh, for example, Popov's result by the use of all method. Okay, now, what about algebra? So here you can uh, see that whenever you have representation of your group, if you can construct this map, you can get already these uh, results. And these results are important in classification theory. And therefore, uh, in the case of, for example, when we consider uh, algebras, okay, my aim will be the following. I should construct the corresponding name. If I show, it means automatically I can get these results. Okay. Uh, so, uh, algebra, you know, it means vector space over some field. Uh, in our case, you can consider complex numbers, okay? And uh, given such kind of uh, by linear map, in other words, it's product of two elements. Uh, by linear means it is linear with the uh, first and the second component. Uh, this uh, product you can represent, uh, so product is given, it means when you fix some base, it means you have this uh, structure uh, constants. But here, our aim is the following, we want uh, usually it is written, uh, it will be n cube uh, numbers, you know. Uh, here we want to put uh, this one in some uh, matrix form. It is important. Otherwise, if you cannot put it in some matrix form, working with this uh, n cube numbers, it is quite difficult. So, in which way we are going to, uh, we will consider n basis, okay, here. Yeah. And uh, after that, uh, product you can represent in this form. Here, uh, this tensor product of two vectors, okay? 
and uh, here you will get uh, matrix uh, uh, size with the m by m square. So this will be matrix. So in Azure, this, uh, the set of uh, stretch constants we are representing as a matrix. Uh, because uh, we, we are interested in invariants and etc., you know, and therefore representation in matrix is not important. Okay. Uh, so what does it mean, uh, this classification? Usually we will, we will, when we say classification, classification uh, means we respect the GL, general linear group. So now I have my matrix for each algebra. So now I want to know what, what happens with this matrix when I change my basis. Okay, so assume that you are changing basis, for example, in this case. Okay, this is uh, one basis is uh, in prime energy. So if you do not uh, matrix uh, matrix of the corresponding structure constants for E prime in this way, B, they are related in this form. Okay. In this form. Okay? This is for one basis, this is for another basis. Therefore, now question, uh, that question can be reformulated in the following way. You have space of uh, <coughs> m by m square matrices. You are acting by GL uh, m on this space in this space. Okay. And uh, uh, we, we are so this is our representation, okay? Representation of GL and, for example, uh, in the, uh, this space. So this is space of structure constant, but they are represented in the form of a matrix. So now my aim, if I can construct for this one for corresponding P of X, my map, I automatically I can get this result. Okay. So, here we are uh, showing how you can construct such kind of map. And please uh, pay attention to the following. This step map is not new, uh, unique in this general case. It is not unique, uh, so it depends on how you can construct. So here, you can, uh, we are offering one way, for example, how to construct this map. So when you have uh, the corresponding equality, this one, for tensor product, you will have this one. Okay? After that, what you can do? After that, you can uh, consider, uh, here it is denoted by uh, place. Okay? So what does it mean? Uh, here, uh, another name of this matrix is tensor also. Okay? So here, Tensor, uh, it has upper indices and the lower indices. Uh, upper indices here k and the lower two times k. So you can consider uh, contraction of uh, upper and the lower indices. Uh, so you will take on k upper and uh, to choose some k lower indices after that. Uh, you can do uh, corresponding contraction, okay? So, contraction uh, means the following. Uh, for example, you know, uh, this I, uh, elements of that matrix are denoted in this way. What I am doing? Uh, here, <coughs> contraction of uh, first one here on the one index and the uh, lava, I get two. I can make uh, first uh, upper and the first C, it means you, you do summation, or this second one. Uh, they are denoted by, uh, by the trace, uh, uh, because this is a generalization of the trace. Uh, when uh, you have only one lower, one upper, it is ordinary trace. But here, uh, you can change, for example, here what I. And therefore, here you will get not a noun, you will get some vector. Vector and the uh, dimension of this vector, you could get uh, corresponding uh, uh, n. 
現代民主化政権になりますそう、と、uh, construct the corresponding map you should consider、uh, tensor products of B and apply this、uh, trace So here,、uh, some justification is given so you can get、uh, enough number of、uh, such kind of vectors, okay, to construct the corresponding v e c t So here, when k is 1, you have only such kind of matrix、uh, components, and you can you have only two choices.、Uh, after 1, of course, the other one, and after 1, and the second, the other one. So first of them, 3, 1, 3, 2 is written, so total number here 2. When k2, a、uh, number of、uh, such kind of places, you can get 10. Okay, so here they are written. Okay. Okay, here, uh, how many? Here, uh, 6. Okay, here, 4. Here, 2.6、uh, are written, and here, 4 are written. Okay. Uh, and uh, here some justifications that you can uh, find uh, enough number of them. You can because this k you can increase. But p o f x you know, uh, matrix, uh, my p o f x we、uh, will size m to the k power times m to the k power. By increasing k, it is shown that you can、uh, get. Consider the corresponding matrix.、Uh, just a minute. Here it is.、Uh, okay. So you can construct、uh, such kind of matrix Q that、uh, you will get、uh, the following.、Uh, okay. uh, you will uh, construct uh, from these traces, okay? And it will have this following property. This property. And the construction of P,、uh, here、uh, the following is shown. Here,、huh? So when you multiply B by this one, it has a product, and、uh, this power multiplied by this one, it has the following property. Here is this expression, here is the same expression, and here G. But in the case of P, if you remember, G was not from this side, it was from this side, this, op,、uh, this uh, minus one degree. And therefore, what you should do to get the corresponding this one, you should consider this matrix,、uh, but it is, you should consider in this.、Okay. So, uh, okay. But here,、uh, P of A is the not in this way,、uh, in this. And therefore,、uh, you, in other words,、uh, for P of A, you can consider this. And、uh, it will have the corresponding. So, okay, so what about the corresponding uh, open uh, uh, this、uh, dense subset? Dense subset,、uh, when you will first construct this P, after that, you will consider all points where you can evaluate this because you have rational functions, okay? So,、uh, you have many rational functions, finite number.、Or、to have meaning, denominator should be zero, okay? And here, The corresponding is a little set. First of all, P of A should be invertible, it is a little, and the、uh, determinant of this method should be zero. Now, now,、uh, result. So now, what I will consider? I will consider algebra to use、uh, structure constant as from this V0.、Uh, V0, and、uh, now I should、uh, translate all those theorems、uh, uh, in this case.、Okay. So, here, for example,、uh, we are saying when you construct、uh, this one、uh, to check if two algebras A B from V0, from V0 means they are <coughs> structure constants from there. So, you should check this equality. If all of them are true, so here matrix, a t w o s matrix. You should check this equality, and if they are same, only in this case they are、uh, equivalent, otherwise no.、Uh, and uh, here other theorems also are formulated.
it's a general case, but if you don't want all general cases, you can consider only commutative case also. Uh, similar construction to corresponding prefix is shown here. Or you can consider all anti uh, commutative algebras. Okay, uh, in this case, the dimension will be less, uh, so you can do uh, all these things. Why uh, I have here, uh, for example, the corresponding expressions? You can see, you know, we are trying to uh, class uh, classify very many algebras from all stretch constants from open set. And uh, there are so many in reality. Even if you consider three dimensional, you will get so many uh, functions. And uh, these functions are very complicated functions, I mean, very huge expression. And uh, therefore, uh, I am not continuing in analysis calculation. Uh, but uh, this uh, from some, uh, some of we can make uh, some students we do uh, this one. In, at least in three dimensions. Okay, what else? Uh, of course, uh, here we have an uh, interesting question. Uh, I have constructed V0. What kind of algebra do we have there? Do we have associative algebras here? Do we have, for example, Leibniz algebras? Do we have, for example, mass of algebras? And this is uh, uh, It is not calculated, but uh, here, uh, uh, investigation of this question also will be interesting. Uh, today, uh, uh, they have considered some uh, the, the, the where not only one product is given, two products are given. Okay? So, uh, here, uh, you can see that this result can be applied in that one also. Because, uh, important thing, uh, the main theory, you see, main part. Uh, if for uh, the such kind of algebra it construct, it, uh, it can be constructed in similar way, so you can uh, <coughs> write down uh, these properties. Okay. Uh, so, but uh, here, mm -hmm. I don't know uh, what kind of things you will get, but uh, here, uh, calculations are not easy, some kind of computer should be used, otherwise uh, every uh, thing doing by hand uh, takes so much time. Uh, so uh, maybe it is all. So, do you have any questions? I have a question. Uh, uh, this is to suggest some methods of classification the process. Yeah. Have you applied it to some concrete example that you described in the long dimension? For example, all associated with the last long dimension? No. Uh, here, you know, when I consider all, uh, for example, associated, it is difficult. I am considering all the algebras. All, as for example, three dimensional And there, I am showing some open set. Okay? It's a set of, of uh, algebras. And I am classifying all algebras from that one. They may be associated with them. They may be latent uh, algebras or something. They may be some massive algebras. So I cannot separate them. But different algebras cannot be. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Algebra Every time you cannot be supported to associate them. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it is clear. But all of them, they are. Uh, but I can, if I, for example, consider only uh, associated. It doesn't get clear. I am considering all and uh, not any type. But uh, you can, uh, the corresponding system of invariants are given. If you have n algebras, if, for, for example, one of them associated with another one with uh, B, for example, of course, they will not be isomorphic. But I am uh, uh, giving the corresponding uh, separating system of invariants. Yeah, but I need to give one example. You know, a very simple example. How ah. do you apply it? Yeah, yeah, okay. Method. Okay, let me show uh, one example. Two dimensional okay. In two dimensional case, uh, structure constants will be A. Okay, so you can uh, 
right? Is that easy? <coughs> okay. Uh, now, uh, here, uh, you can get uh, this two dimensional case. Trace of this A you can evaluate, it is written here. Uh, trace 2 you can evaluate. And uh, this, uh, these two are enough to construct, in this case, the corresponding. Uh, so you have one row, another row, they put together, and you will get two by two metrics. Okay, but, two, uh, but not, uh, I can, uh, so P will, should be invertible, and therefore, determinant should be zero, so this one. So not all, all algebras are considered. Algebras for which uh, this determinant is not. Okay, now. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, I will tell you, there may be associated with also, there may be, so approach is different, not according to some classes. This is? Because in algebra we work with? Uh, yeah, special, some class of algebra. Some class of algebra. Yeah, yeah, but here yeah, not associated. Do you mean that in the list, for instance, in two-dimensional case, you will give, in terms of structural constant, you will give all the possibilities of the multiplication table and from there we can get our respective algebra that say this is the this is the association. For example, two dimension algebra, yes? I am showing some open, not algebra, not all algebra, some open set, which uh, is closure with respect to uh, Paris topology, with the all algebra, you know? If you have any two, Algebra from this one, I can uh, tell you how to, uh, I can answer as a isomorphic or not. Here, not special kind of algebras, all algebras are considered. Uh, there is no notion of all algebras. But, no. All it means, uh, algebra means here, vector uh, space, we have one product. Uh, this uh, by, uh, by linear mean yeah. on such kind of yeah. uh, if you consider all algebras uh -huh. without any condition you you will have just a by space without any condition uh, all space uh, yeah I will get so that's why no, no point to classify because they, this is a, that's where it will without structure no so, no when you consider for example two dimensional yes uh, structure constants uh, with the eight dimension. So yeah, in other words, no condition. Yeah, no condition. Yeah, no condition. Yeah, no condition. Yeah. Free and free space. Yeah. yeah. No point to classify. Why? What? Why? The question is the following. You have this algebra. No, you no, have another algebra. Yeah, I, just, I want to explain uh, a bit uh, further. The problem is, you will consider on that um, on two-dimensional space or n-dimensional space, if you have a finite space, now you will consider open subset. It's open subset, then uh, the round you will give some uh, criterion from that open uh, space to be isomorphic any two algebra. If you consider associative product, you can apply that uh, invariance. Then uh, to verify, uh, they will they be isomorphic or not? If you consider uh, the case again, you can consider that uh, invariance to verify for that to be invariant. Actually, in, say in two dimensional case, you may have associative structure, Lee structure, Jordan structure, and other uh, type structure. So that's why here is given such a general theory. Now you can restrict it to a specific case and then to uh, classify each that classes of algebra separately. Yeah, in, a, in algebra, you consider to be or other, they are algebraic manifolds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is not manifold, but only open subset, which are this. Yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is um, not But all algebra is there. From algebraic point of view, it's not so uh, useful. No, because yeah. you want, if you want to uh, describe all structures in fixed dimension, of course, you should you should do such a uh, theory uh, because Ural wants to give uh, uh, for any two algebra it doesn't matter which uh, from which class they will uh, they are taken uh, just give some uh, isomorphism criteria then if they are, if you verify the uh, equality 
then you will get the yeah, So in Azul, in Azul, for example, not all uh, associated here, but some part may be here. For those, that part I can uh, But in the algebra, I don't know any problems which can be uh, reduced to this uh, uh, no, actually, no, it is uh, part of them uh, because since we don't have any general algorithm uh, method to classify, this is a... Uh, yeah, it for is, example, uh, structural approach works, for example, uh, mean, for example, and this is But we need to answer the algebra, genetic algebra, for example. No, no such kind of structural approach. It is not clear how to uh, uh, work with such kind of algebra. So, that one doesn't work. On special cases it works. But here, this is uh, uh, another approach. But here, you will not uh, consider on a special case of all of all algebra, but only you can classify some part. But uh, uh, dense in the. Yes, you just show the two dimension is goes goes deeper. Uh, yeah. Uh, they classify. All algebras, possible algebras, uh, structures in uh, two dimensional states, so including uh, associated algebras, D algebras, Jordan algebras, which uh, structure has a say, associativity? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. First one, yeah. After that, they are checking. Which of them are associated? Yeah. Which of them Jordan algebra? Which of them commutator and basic? There's no cases they check which one, who is who. No, since we don't have any uh, just, uh, method to classify it, this one is uh, one uh, approach. So, this, any questions? Then in that, that case, when we will start to consider um, uh, Degree, transcendental degree uh -huh. data from other side and other side, uh -huh. uh, you relate it to the dimension of uh, vector space. But yeah. if you consider that subset, uh -huh. the dimension will be the same or? No, yeah, dimension will be the same, but here yeah, it is different. Uh, yes, dimension of G. I am not saying that G is. Because N is dimension of vector space. Yeah. Of numbers. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Thank you very much.